This was a pretty unusual sight on Lake Quinsegamon. A boat suddenly begins to turn in the water, and then powerful wind picks it up. Hmm. Now, you just saw there, a gorgeous day, no storms in sight, but the boat seemed to be caught in some kind of windstorm. A very strange yeah. sight, to say the least. WBZ's Anna Ritas Rodriguez is live for us in Worcester tonight with more on what caused this. Anna Ritas? Lisa and David, you know that we have our sources in the weather world, and they're calling this a fair weather water spout. We also have our sources here in Worcester, people who have lived on this lake for decades and say they've never seen anything like this. I thought it was a little tornado, but I was surprised because there was no clouds in the sky. Renee Shakur says this whirlwind whipped out of nowhere last Friday. We were sitting downstairs on the swings, and all of a sudden, this huge, crazy gust of air came, and it looked, it, it, I don't even know how to describe it. So she pulled out her phone and started recording. Jason, what is it? Meteorologists call this a fair weather water spout. The force of this one pulled a pontoon boat from its mooring and dragged it across Worcester's Lake Quinsigamond. The tarps came ripping off and went close to about 200 feet up in the air. When she noticed the boat almost capsized, Shakur, her husband, and a neighbor jumped into action to help guide the boat back to shore. It wasn't long before their nephew watched in shock as the water spout came back. I thought they were going to get hurt because the boat was like spinning in circles so many different ways. All the while, Tom Foster, who owns the pontoon gone rogue, had no idea what was going on. Tom, where were you? I was sitting over here. I was cutting up some brush, and I didn't hear a damn thing. He showed us the rope. The spout ripped off the cleat, bolted to the dock, and that he'll have to fix the canopy before next season, but says he's thankful to his neighbors that no one was hurt. This neighborhood is a great neighborhood. Everybody down here turns around and looks out for each other, and if I'm on the air, I like to turn around and thank all my neighbors. They were fantastic. Back here live, we've heard some rumbles of thunder overhead, and I know that Eric is watching for the potential uh, for thunderstorms later on tonight and through the rest of the afternoon. And I know that he'll also be able to explain how this phenomenon forms and talk about things like areas of convergence and horizontal spins. But that's latest live here in Worcester. I'm Anaritis Rodriguez, WBZ News. The rest of us just are not authorized to talk about it. Anaritis, thank you.